Here we are again. Doing some more eating. Got to get a little cooking going on. I want to show you all this one because uh, it's one of my favorite things to cook. One of my family's favorite things is a rotisserie chicken. Oh my gosh, this thing is so good. Well, not right now, he's raw, but uh, <clears throat> we cook these quite a bit. Um, really easy to make these rotisserie chickens. We have a rotisserie machine that I'll show you in just a minute. And right now, I'm going to tie him up, season him up real good, and we will put him on the uh, on the spit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tie this chicken up. I got my onion here that I got cut up. Um, and got the chicken, got the... Uh, got the the spit that he sits on, and I have the uh, I got aluminum foil, aluminum foil pan right here that catches all the drippings and everything while he rotates. So, and I have one glove, so I might as well not even put any gloves on. But so the way I do this chicken uh, when I tie him up is I take his wings and I just kind of put them around his back like so. Not sure. You can really see this. So I got the wing here. Got the wing here. I just fold it behind his back, kind of like he's lounging, and that's it. And that makes that wing sit out like that when it's in the uh, when it's in the the rotisserie or whatever he's in the grill. It works on the grill and everything. So now I'm going to tie him up. What I do, I use this uh, this elastic string here, uh, like a butcher twine. That's elastic, and you want to have these legs to where they're just kind of like this, and the wings to where they're either in. What I do is I run this uh, this elastic, this this twine underneath the the, uh, the wings, just like that. And it stretches really well. So you can do it like this if you want. Um, what I'm going to do today, I wanted to try something new. Is And it may be not a good thing to do. Maybe trying something new isn't good. Is they, you know, they, they showed where you can actually tie these chickens up just like this. Where you can just tie... Just tie a double knot, use two strings if you want. Well, I may not have to use two strings, I can just do it like this. Um, maybe somebody watching, maybe one of you know how to do something a little bit different. I'm just kind of experimenting with different things with this chicken. That's pretty easy. Basically, all you're doing um, with this rotisserie is you're just kind of keeping keeping the bird um, off of all the hot sections while he rotates. So when he rotates, he's going to be kind of jiggling around a little bit. So he's still doing a little jiggle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this other piece of string here. And I'm going to tie him up right across right across his back. Just like this, just kind of keep him, just to kind of keep him from from jiggling any more than than he should. And you can cut this off, you know, when he's done. And I haven't seasoned him yet. There it is. So I have torn my aluminum foil all up. I might have to go get another piece of aluminum foil. Um. I'm going to go ahead and put my onion in it. I probably should have done done that. Like I said, I'm, I'm still kind of learning on this. I haven't done the onion deal before. Go ahead and set him back up here like this. And I'm going to stick this onion 
right in that cavity. Some of you may not like that. <laughs> but I think that's going to be phenomenal. So put that onion right in there like that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Then stick this back on this top piece, and we'll go ahead and season him. Oh yeah, he looks good. Got an onion. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands, and um, we'll uh, see you in a few minutes. All right, I'm back, and I got my one glove that I have left. I gotta go buy some more gloves. Today we're using uh, honey hog barbecue. And there goes my onion, it just fell out. That's nice. All right, we'll have to figure something else out on that onion. honey hog barbecue and this skin gets really crispy as you can probably tell it will because of the seasoning and my favorite the gospel AP rub real liberal with the with the uh, seasoning And that reminds me, I need to get online today and order some more seasoning. Yeah, so good. Okay, so I'm going to stand it back up. i got to get this onion back in here. Hopefully it don't fall out during the cook. So there we go. I'm going to get that out of the way. Yeah, I have a feeling that onion ain't going to stay in there. Oh, there it goes. I got him in there good that time. Okay. There we go. He's in there. Alright, guys. I have a problem with my legs here. They come unwrapped, come untied. So, like I said, I'm not a professional. We're on the farm doing this. It's all good. But we make it work. And uh, this is one of the best things that you're going to eat. So good. Alright. i got to get some more aluminum foil for my pan. I'll be back. It's going to be good. Okay. Alright. I got my got my pan falled up. I'm back in here. This is the one I had to refall. So I just throw fall on it so I don't, you know, so it didn't mess up. Um, or anything and you can see in there it's got a heating element and the uh, shield this shield does come out so you can clean it um, I've only I've used this thing about five times already and you can get off what you can um, pretty nice little little machine it's got a, uh, a glass glass door this is a Ronco Showtime rotisserie. My mother gave it to me. She bought it, never used it, and she gave it to me. Well, I have been using the Dickens out of it. It's got a timer on here where you can put on there half hour, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three hours. It's got a switch between no heat 
rotation, normal rotation, and a pause to sear. So we're going to start out in the normal rotation. That makes it rotate on this little gear right here and turns the heating element on. And we're going to put it to an hour and a half. Uh, that's what a five pound chicken, that's, that's the way we do the five pound five pound chicken is an hour and a half and that's what this bad boy right here is so he's ready to go I got the onion in him mm, that's probably gonna fall out I don't know we're gonna see so let's try this out this is like I said that onion thing is new I ain't never done that before so we're gonna put it in there and see This bad boy just slips in here just like this. Goes in that position right there. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and maybe I can tie this here string. I got a little excess string right here. I may can tie off. to kind of help out with the um, with the onion. An onion is going to an onion is going to make me all upset. He ain't going to act right. So as you can see by doing this with the with the rub already on it and the seasoning on it you, learn, you rub a lot of this stuff off that's why I don't like to handle it after it's already been rubbed. So, there he is. Now my hands are dirty again. So what we're going to do is turn it to an hour and a half. Oh, that's beautiful. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So, wipe my hands off. There he goes. Doing his thing. It's already starting to smoke a little bit. And you can see the juices, how they just kind of rotate on the chicken. These things come out some kind of good. Close the little door and let her roll. Little Millie dog, she'll be out here sniffing on it in a little while. That's it. All right, so clean my little workspace up and uh, I'll see y'all in a little bit. We'll uh, take a look at it, see what it looks like maybe about halfway through the cook. Later. All right, we're back, and check out the chicken. It's been one hour and about a little over 15 minutes. That bad boy looks good. You can see my onion fell out. My wife was laughing at me. Anyway, it's going to be a good onion. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this timer here I'm gonna set it back to 15 minutes and I'm gonna switch this heat to no heat rotation what that did was turn off the heating element in the back and now it's just gonna rotate and cool off and it'll give it enough time for it to quit bubbling and quit quit doing all the uh, you know quit boiling and, and quit cooking so I'm gonna put this back on there We'll let it rotate for another, like I said, another 15 minutes, and uh, <clears throat> and then we'll take it off. So we'll see you in a few minutes when we take it. All off. right, fixing to get it off. Gloves, 
pan with, you know, I like aluminum foil. So it quit, it's done rotating. I'm gonna take the door off. This door just kind of comes off, but also slides under. Pretty cool. I'm gonna get my onion off first. That bad boy right there is gonna be nice. All right. Look at this, so good. And I'm gonna take off the um, one side there that comes off, and then this here will just slide on off. Just like that, buddy. That's so good. I'll put this back together, put it back in here for when I clean it. And it's a really easy cleanup for these. The only thing I gotta clean is this. And then I'll wipe out the inside of all the grease. And that's pretty much it. So, there's our chicken. We'll look, cut the ties off of him. The onion, look at the juices coming out of it. That's so lovely. It's gonna be so good. All right, that's all it is to it. And um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks to my videographer, Boogie Ray Ray. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. All right, so I figured we need to show y'all cutting into it. It wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be a good thing to leave y'all hanging like that. So I'm going to cut the strings off. Now these these ties just held held the bird on the uh, on the spit keeps it from getting into the into the heating element and all that stuff. So that's all that's for. Man, look how good that looks. So we'll cut all that off of there. Can't really hold, handle it because it's going to fall apart on me. So. Here's all the tie. There's all the butcher's butcher's twine that, that I tied it up with right here. So I'm gonna throw this away real quick. All right. Now we have no more butcher's twine on it. So it's all. Now watch this. Watch this goodness. It'll just pull apart. Look at that. And it's really hot right now. I can't handle my hands. So there's that good meat. Look at there. So good and juicy. There's bre that breast meat is going to be real good and juicy. And that's it. So we're about to eat. I got some corn over here. Come show the corn. We got some Louisiana seasoned up corn in, in that pot. Show that corn boog in there. You see it? You got that corn in there? Looks good, don't it? So we got some corn. It's ready to go. Got asparagus in here. And we're going to eat. So, till next time, now we're gone for real. Thank you.